The state of Sabah is rich in different types of animals and biodiversity. One of the main reasons tourists flock here is for the animal conservation centres. You've got the hibiscus monkey, you've got the sun bear, but the one that we're visiting today is probably the one which is the most famous and so many tourists flock here every single day. We're really excited to check this place out. So come on, let's go and see what we're visiting today. So, I'm just making my way to the entrance now to pick up the tickets while Nadia and Zakaria get ready. And let's see what the cost is and if we can see the orangutans today, shall we? Here's your tickets. So, tickets, it's valid for the whole day. Bags, lots of bottles, I'm not allowed to bring inside. A lot of just of security. Yeah. It's free and they will give you a key. Okay. And when you go inside, you have to wear your tickets. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. It's 30 ringgit per person if you're not Malaysian and there is a camera fee of 10 ringgit per camera. So all in all, it cost 80 ringgit for the two of us and feeding time in the morning starts at 10 a.m. So we've got about 25 minutes and one ticket is valid for the whole day. So you can go to both morning and the afternoon feeding. So it's not that expensive, but let's go and see what these beautiful people are up to. Hey! Bobo! Did you get a ticket? Have you got tickets? You got tickets? Lovely, and it starts at 10? It starts at 10, the feeding. Woohoo! Let's go! Let's go! So guys, we have made it here at Sepilok Orangutan Rehabilitation Centre here in Sandakan. It is a very bright, sunny day today very popping hot and it looks like this place is accessible because they've got i can see ramps already so it might be okay with the push jet i'm wondering if the is actually going to get scared when it comes to seeing the orangutans last time we we're literally walking on this and the orangutan came right close to us so let's go and make our way to the feeding station guys i'm so excited so guys we've got a couple of minutes before the feeding starts so that's why everyone's gathered up right here right now and i think in the next minute or so they're going to start feeding the orangutan but you can see already the orangutans are starting to make their way out and swing in on the ropes so let's go and check them out He's intrigued, isn't he? He's like, whoa, what are those things swinging? <laughs> hey? Hey, it's a crazy thing. It's a rainy time. They're going to have breakfast. Did you have breakfast with them? Starving. Wow, that feeding was absolutely amazing. There was a two orangutans and a whole load of monkeys that came to snatch the food. You know, you have that saying, cheeky monkey. I swear that is so true because they're so cheeky. Like literally, as soon as the food came out, those monkeys, the smaller ones, were literally just on it. And the orangutans were just chilling, weren't they? They were just chilling, eating their lettuce. It was just so amazing to see again. Like, just such beautiful creatures, honestly. This is such an experience, guys. Absolutely fantastic. He was loving it. It is very hot though, so I think he got hot and bothered. So, being a portable fan, guys, he got a baby. <laughs> yeah, and it yeah, it's definitely hot. It's like 10:30 now. It's 30 degrees, and it's very very humid as well. So, kind of dress lightly, bring some water for the for the babies. Hey! Uh, just make sure you can fit it in your pocket. 
and I think he said guys you need to subscribe to our channel if you're loving this video so far it's just so nice to be walking around in the middle of this nature oh my god there's a rambutan there and there's left is there there oh no it's a branch <laughs> okay center was actually opened by Barbara Harrison back in 1964 to save orphan orangutans. Today there's anything between 60 to 200 orangutans here in this rehabilitation center. So the conservation center was set up because over the years deforestation has increased and that's because of increased farming, increase of making crops such as palm oil and it's destroyed the natural habitats of so many animals and they've become endangered and especially the orangutans to bring them into this rehabilitation center which kind of mimics a lot of the natural wild environment that they would otherwise live in and then in the future they can be reintroduced into more safer areas it's our duty as humans to protect these animals from being endangered because once they're gone they're gone and we won't be able to appreciate them. The last time we came, we had a once in a lifetime experience where the orangutan literally came walking right beside us, so up close. I don't think it's going to happen and I don't think everyone that comes to the rehabilitation centre gets to experience that. We've had such an amazing time here at the rehabilitation centre. Definitely, definitely recommend coming here just to escape I would say the heat as well because you're literally in a forest and there's a lot of shade and just to see the orangutans in their natural habitat well environment so guys we're gonna go now and get some delicious breakfast because we are starving and i'm quite excited because it's going to be some special breakfast so let's go and check it out bye bye bye, bye, -bye. finish also guys, if there was extra things that you wanted to do around this area, there's also the Sun Bear Conservation, which is literally just over there. And you have a Sandakan Heritage Trail, which you can also do as well. So guys, we've made it to the English Tea House restaurant here in Sandakan. You guys are in for a treat because the menu proper popping off. So it looks like we've come at a time where there's a group tour going on. It's fully booked but looks like we're gonna go and sit in a separate area. Okay yeah so they got looks like all the tables are set up here for the group tourists. Nice. Do you have baby chair? Have baby chair. Oh, thank you. Lovely. Alright, so we've got our own little room, guys. This place get, gets booked out, so make sure you put your booking in. But luckily, we've got our own separate room. So, while we are in our private dining area here in the state banquet room of these lovely grounds, we're going to check out the menu. So, you've got options of starters, sandwiches, and pastas, and you've got your afternoon tea sets. Oh, yeah, girl. Elegant tea served with famous scones, sandwiches, cakes, muffins, homemade cream, strawberry jam, pots of teas in my belly. Hey. Hi. I tell you what, this afternoon tea not only looks good, but it absolutely smells delicious. It's fresh homemade cakes, homemade scones and homemade sandwiches. And you know that freshly baked cake smell? You kind of get that from it. Do you get a whiff of that? Mm. It's proper nice. What the sandwich is like? It's delicious. Everything yeah. I wanted more. And also, guys, we just found out everything is homemade, which is amazing. Get in my belly. You know what, we finished up on that afternoon tea and it was delicious. Those scones were nice and warm. Oh yeah. Just as I expected them to be and oh, you know what, I'm full. For today, I think it has been an absolute blast guys. Thank you so much for watching. And if you really enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel. It really does help us grow. And smash that like button. Follow your visions guys. Follow your vision guys. And we will see you on the next one. See you in the next one.